What's up guys, it's Gabe, aka Gabeflow. I'm back here with you guys for another tutorial. This week on the Discord server, we had a poll for what you guys wanted to learn and you guys chose number one, which is called When Your Girlfriend Asks If You Got Riz. And yeah, let's get to it. This is actually the intro to a song that I just dropped called 507. You can listen to it on all platforms down in the description. And yeah, hope you guys like it. So let me play it for you first. <laughs> So we're gonna break this up into four parts. And the way that starts is on a D minor seven chord. That starts on the A string fifth fret, D string seventh fret, third string fifth fret, and the second string sixth fret. But on the second string, what you're gonna do is this hammer on from five to six. So it's gonna sound like this. And what you do at the end of your chord is that you're gonna cut it short. So basically after you hit that hammer on, you're going to lift your finger slightly so that you get a short sound. After that, you're gonna hit this little lick. That lick is gonna be on the first string eighth fret, hammer on to 10th fret, pull off back to eight, and then hit the second string 11th fret. It should sound like this. So far we have this. After that, you're gonna go to an E fully diminished seven chord. All right, it's gonna sound like this. You're gonna hit the fifth string, seventh fret, followed by fret eight, followed by six, and followed by eight again. And when you play this chord, you're actually going to bar your first finger across strings four, three, and two, and a little bit of ones, because you want to hammer on the second string sixth fret onto your second string eighth fret. And then after that, you're gonna take your pinky off so that you can play the second string sixth fret. It should sound like this. After that, you're gonna hit the same chord, but two frets up. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna hammer on two frets above your note on the second string. And in order to do that, just make sure you bar your first finger across strings four, three, two, and a little bit of one. So far, we've got part one, which sounds like this. After that, we're gonna go to part two, which sounds like this. So to play part two, you're going to hit a G minor nine chord, which is gonna be frets 10 on the fifth string, followed by fret eight, followed by fret 10, and followed by another fret 10. And what you're gonna do is the same concept from earlier. You're going to play a rake with a hammer on on the second string again. And that hammer on on the second string is played from two frets below. So in this case, you're hammering on the second string eighth fret to the 10th fret. After that, you're gonna hit this lick. So to play that, you're gonna hit the second string 11th fret, hammer on to 13, pull off to 11, and then slide down to 10. Should sound like this. After that, you're gonna hit this A7 chord, followed by a little lick. In order to play that, you're gonna start with this little chord that looks kind of like a little staircase. It's gonna be the fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, 11th fret, followed by the third string, 10th fret. And what you're gonna do is that you are going to hammer on that third string two frets up, okay? So it should sound like this. So you should be hammering on your first finger to the pinky on the 12th fret. After that, you're gonna hit the 12th fret a little hard, and then you're gonna slide it up to 14. All right, and what I'm doing there is that I'm doing, I'm not just playing the note like this, I'm actually hitting the bottom strings, but I'm just muting them with my left hand. And I'm playing this usually with my pinky. It just gives it more of a percussive feel and a stronger type of energy. After you do that lick, you're going back to the A7. And what you're gonna do is that you're going to hammer on that pinky just as we did before. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to slide it up one fret slide it back down one fret, and then you're going to take it off so that it pulls off to fret number 10. After that, you're gonna hit the fourth string 11th fret, which should already be there 
with your middle finger, okay? So that whole part number two should sound like this. After that, you're gonna play part three, which sounds like this. And what I'm doing here is that I'm hitting the first chord just as we did in the beginning of the song. Same thing. After that, instead of doing this, we're going to move it up to fret 12 on the first string, hammer on 13, then pull off to 12, and then you're going to hit the second string 15th fret. It should sound like this. After that, you're going to go to an A fully diminished 7. All right, and basically the frets for that are 12, 13, 11, and 13. And just like before, we are taking this chord and we are hammering on the second string from two frets below. For that one, since we have the second string 13th fret, we are going to hammer on from the second string 11th fret to the 13th. After that, we're gonna take our pinky off so that we hit the second string 11th fret. After that, we are going to copy and paste the same info and do it three frets down. After that, we're gonna go to part four, which sounds like this. Basically, we're going to do the same thing as part two, but with a little variation. We're gonna hit a G minor nine, the same way we did as in part two. We're raking it up, and we are hammering on the second string eighth to the fret number 10. Then we're doing the same lick after that, which is basically second string 11, hammering on to 13, pulling off to 11, and then sliding to 10. And then we're going to grab this A7 chord, which is gonna be fifth string 12th fret, followed by 11th fret, followed by 12th fret. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna hammer on that third string 12th fret onto fret number 14. So far it sounds like this. After that, we're gonna do a similar motion, but just on this staircase chord that we played before. And what we're doing is that we're playing this staircase chord, which is fifth string 12th fret, followed by 11, followed by 10, and we are going to hammer on our third string 10th fret onto fret number 12. Part four should sound like this. So I hope you guys liked that video, and don't forget to click the link below to stream this song. It's called 507, and it's available on all platforms. Hope you guys like it. Until next time.